Hello all, welcome to RT Labs with me Rohan and in today's tutorial we'll see how to add your application shortcut using Hey Siri and this is done by having a add to Siri button in your Swift project. So how do we do all this? Let's get started. For this tutorial I am going to start from where we left off in the previous tutorial in which we had added a Siri shortcut using these many lines of code just these many okay and uh, what we did was we tried to calculate the elapsed time from the new year and uh, we tried to show that in the uh, label so in this tutorial what we're going to do is we are going to add a add to siri button uh, in your project and when the user will click on that you can add the shortcut directly into siri so next time when you want to just run the get elapsed time you just have to summon siri by saying hey siri get elapsed time so it will open up the application and then it can show up the elapsed time for you. So this is what we are going to do in this project and uh, or rather in this tutorial. So just follow along with me. But before that, uh, let me just explain to you what we have done. So uh, first of all, uh, we had uh, created a Siri entitlement and uh, rather capability within your uh, project by having Siri checked and uh, which is yes over here. And after that, we had gone into our view controller the shift class and we had created a function to calculate the elapsed time. And uh, the time to start was uh, 1st of January 2021 and it used to return the, the elapsed time in seconds. And uh, what we did was we had shown the elapsed time on a label. After that, we had created a function called as create user activity now so what this will do is it will train siri on repeated actions for example if you are trying to uh, click get user activity multiple times uh, siri will get trained the next time what it will do is it will uh, show the get elapsed time as a shortcut uh, within your siri suggestions so this is what uh, we have done in the past tutorial so uh, for this tutorial let us first begin by importing the intents ui into the project so let's go ahead and add that so let's click uh, import intents uh, ui this is the one and after that what we're going to do is we are going to add a add to siri button on view did load method okay so let's go ahead and uh, make some room within the view did load method and over here we're just going to declare let button is equal to int ui uh, add voice shortcut button this is a one i'll rather rename you the button to something more significant like say button underscore uh, add to siri all right so this will give the purpose as well and uh, we will have to give the style to it Okay, there are multiple styles, but what I like is uh, black outline, which looks good on the uh, white form. So let us give that as the style that we prefer. So there are uh, white, white with outline, black, black with outline. So these are the four styles that are available as of now. So let's say button underscore add to Siri dot uh, translate auto resizing mask into constraints is false since we are writing this programmatically so we'll have to add this and i'll have to add view dot add sub view and i'm going to add in the button to it next we will have to add the constraints uh, to the button so let's say view dot center x anchor dot constraints oops constraint anchor dot constraints and we will have to give the button underscore add to Siri dot center constraints center x anchor dot is active is equal to true all right so we will have to add the constraints for the x and as well as for a y so that the button is nicely placed on the center of the form let's change the y as well and that's it uh, let's go back to our main.storyboard 
and in the previous tutorial we had added the get elapsed time button in the center of uh, our view controller so over there we just need to drag this and let us bring that down and the add to Siri button will be in the center of the view controller so let's go back to our view controller dot swift class and over here uh, you have added the button with these lines of code but you need to have an action as well right so for that we will have to add uh, button underscore Siri dot add target and we'll have to specify the target for that so let's say self and we'll have to give a selector for that so for that we will have to add a objective C function for that so let us give the function name for now as um, say uh, add uh, add to Siri yeah this sounds good so add to Siri and I'll just leave it as a empty parameter and after that I will say with the touch up event as inside so dot touch up inside it will show up an error for add to C selector and that is what we are going to write next so let's go ahead and write the objective C function for add to C let's write at the rate opj C and let's write function add to Siri just copy paste this so that we don't uh, misspell it and uh, let's say sender any open the curly braces and uh, first of all uh, I don't want to waste much time here so I will just copy what we have written in the previous uh, tutorial for setting up the user activity so whatever is written uh, within the create user activity the same thing you can uh, just copy it over here or rather you can just even call this function uh, within the add to Siri uh, but I will rather copy it and I will paste it here see the concept uh, that I wanted to explain to you is like uh, when we are trying to have a add to Siri button on your project okay so that is actually opening up a view controller so at the tap of the add to Siri button you are opening a view controller and you are adding uh, your Siri suggestions within the Siri view controller okay so the next few lines of the code will be to have the view controller open uh, or rather the Siri view controller open and uh, saving your shortcut within that okay so you just press enter make some room into it and we'll have to define a shortcut first so let's say let shortcut is equal to in shortcut and we'll have to give the user activity that we have written on top which is uh, user what happened yes uh, activity yes so this is what we have uh, declared on top and uh, let's go down let's say let view controller is equal to in ui add voice uh, view controller so this is the one that we are going to add to show the view controller where you can save your suggestions within Siri. okay so let's write shortcut and we will have to pass in the shortcut variable that we have created so let's write shortcut and after that view controller dot delegate is equal to self the error will come here because we haven't added the the voice of view controller delegate uh, to our class so we will add that later let's write view controller dot uh, modal presentation style is equal to form sheet and let's write present view controller we will have to pass in the view controller that we have declared on top that view controller animated is true and completion nil and that's it okay so let's go on to our uh, first few lines of the class and over here we will have to give in the uh, add in the delegate for the voice shortcut view controller delegate so let's write in ui 
voice shortcut button or no sorry it's a view controller delegate right here okay and we'll have to add in the two stubs which are uh, right here so the first one is uh let me explain to you the first one over here is uh, the one that uh, will get fired when you click the add to siri button uh, within the view controller that is within the siri view controller when the view controller is open and when you uh, click done uh, that is when this will be fired and this view controller also has a cancel button so if the user presses the cancel uh, button so this particular stuff will be fired okay so over here what we are going to do is we are going to say controller dot dismiss and we'll say animated is true and completion is nil okay and we will just say copy this and we will have to paste it to this as well which is the cancellation stub and that's it so let's give you a nice build and see whether we are facing any errors okay and one more thing that we need to do over here is if you go down and it, let's say activity dot and this is very important uh, because uh, this is a phrase that will be added uh, to the siri view controller okay so let's say suggested invocation phrase is equal to get elapsed time okay so this is what the phrase will be on the siri view controller for siri to know uh, that this particular shortcut is belonging to this particular uh, ns user activity okay so let's give a build again and that's it so I will rather prefer to run this application using my physical iOS device. So let me get that uh, ready. So I have connected my iPhone to my Mac and I'm going to run this app. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have the add to Siri button shown and we can have the uh, the get elapsed time also shown on the same form that we had and this was there done on the uh, previous tutorial so let me just go ahead and uh, click add to siri and as i told you this will show the siri view controller to you guys and uh, what this has is like when i say get elapsed time so this is the phrase actually that uh, we have mentioned over here so this is the same phrase that is shown on when I see section and the one that is shown on the do part that is the get elapsed time it is the activity name so this is what is shown over here okay so let's uh, go ahead and click add to Siri and let's see what happens and that's it so uh, the Siri shortcut is created so let's go ahead and uh, search for shortcuts within our iOS device and it should show up over here as you can see there is a get elapsed time shortcut already added within shortcuts okay so if you go ahead and open that it will show you the the shortcut but we are not going to do that we are going to search for a shortcut All right so let's say hey Siri get elapsed time So there you go our uh, our app is fired the elapsed time uh, is shown uh, to the user and as you can see it is in minus which is uh, actually correct because it shows the elapsed time uh, from 1st of january 2021 onwards and let's give it a try again and we'll i will just close this app and uh, i will just say hey siri get elapsed time There you go. So our app is working and it is closely integrated with Siri. So this is how you add your application shortcut using Hey Siri in your Swift project. This video was in the last of the series of tutorial that we were covering on how to use Siri Kit 
in the Swift project. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts, please reach me out in the comment section. I'll be happy to help as always. And please like and subscribe to the channel. And see you until next time. Cheers.